Um, the lab designed for athlete development, professionals across pro sports, college athletics, and higher education looking to collaborate, network, and grow. Make sure you follow the lab um, on Twitter at the lab group underscore. So make sure you check them out, follow them, retweet all the memes, everything, get up in the, get up in the conversation. Um, but like I said, this conversation right now we're having um, is about using this time to really influence next generation. My name is Corrine Million. I'm the executive director and co-founder of the Winning Edge Leadership Academy. It is a nonprofit, but I'd like to call it a social movement or a, an online and in-person community that develops the next generation of women and minority leaders in sports business. We're going, this is our fifth year. So we're like about to finish our fifth year here in December. And I can't even believe it. Um, we've been going strong. We've been able to influence 400 students across the country and provide uh, professional experiences for about 65 game changes is what we call them. Uh, they're student athletes from all divisions in college athletics who want to work in sports business. And when Jared put the lab up on LinkedIn, I was like, okay, I don't know how, but I got to get involved with this. We got to do this. And I've had conversations with these two wonderful ladies since then. And by the time I finished the conversation with Jamara, I was like, bet, I'm having a conversation with, Sh uh, with Michelle and Jamara. We're going to do this ladies only. We're going to do this right. And we're just going to like talk about removing complexities and the big hot item right now, which is diversity, equity, and inclusion, and just like bring innovative ideas to doing that. So I want to start, I talked about myself a lot. I actually hate talking about myself. So I want to toss it to these ladies here. Michelle, um, I want to know from both of you who you are, what you do, and why. You want me to kick it off? Yeah, let's kick it off. All right, so I'm Michelle Amold. I'm the Vice President of Parker Dewey, and what we do at Parker Dewey is connect companies and with college students and recent grads for micro-internships, which are project-based opportunities. Um, I can tell you a little bit more about me, or I can turn it over to Jamara. Which would you like? Yeah, we'll go to Jamara, and then we'll come back and talk more, but um, what have you been doing to keep yourself busy during this, this time? Personally, I have been doing 8 million Zoom calls, hanging out with my dog, um, no. Facebook and everybody, so keeping busy as much as I can remotely. Yeah, it's funny. I, I work from home before all this happened, and I actually have been on less than five Zoom calls this whole time. So. What? What? This is like my whole life, so. Happy no. Happy again. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I guess... Like, I haven't been on a Zoom call with more than, like, three people. So, I, I, I hear, I feel, or I hear the pain, but I don't feel the pain. Um, so, Jamar, tell me who you are, what you do, and why. Oh, I think you're on mute. Oh. Typical technical difficulties. No, it's something that we're here now. Absolutely. So my name is Jamara Washington, and I am the CEO and co-founder of Greenwood X. And what we do is empower networks and people to basically reach whatever the end result and um, goal that they have for themselves. And we do this in a few different ways. Uh, we empower professionals and the other professionals as well as underrepresented college students because we understand the power of a network and we understand the power of one conversation and how that can propel you uh, to reach that end goal that you have. So I hate, I hate to frame it this way, but the pandemic has made a lot of companies realize that like the same old way of doing things just isn't the best way. And so that's been a positive for us. Um, we've seen like 5x growth in, in the number of opportunities available on parkerdewey.com. There's a long way to go to ensure that every student has access to these opportunities. Um, but that is just really exciting. I want to see it continue to grow. Um, if I can shout out, we're partnering with Winning Edge to do the game break, gang, gang, gang up in here. <laughs> yeah. And so I would love to see, you know, athletic development professionals and even the adjacent industries, like you've got work on your plate. You can do these short-term paid flexible opportunities. There's tons of students who now have free time they weren't expecting. Who so much time try it out, who would love to see what it's like to work in your industry, even again, even if it's a boring project. 
it's still exciting for them because they want to um, get to know you, talk to you, and and then they can go to Greenwood X and, and ask questions for other professionals about, hey, I'm doing this project and I, I need some tips, you know, so they it can come full circle. So, you know, I think just for us looking at the next um, couple years is just continuing to spread awareness. I think companies are know that this exists. Um, they need that push to to take advantage of it and, and it's not taking advantage because it's really a, a true sort of win-win. So more, well, more I'm people gonna on board. Say, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say that um more pe it's time. The traditional internship is uh intended for the privilege. For everyone. We need we yeah. need different options. There's different yeah. types of people. Let's give more options to everybody. Yeah, it's time. Like if you're really committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and you're still recruiting from the t same 10 schools, you're not committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Like the two are not, can't live in the same universe. Um, so yeah, so, and it's funny, like um, the boring things I'm having my micro internships uh, do, like I had literally somebody create captions for our little yearbook and I just hired her on and she's interviewing like the founder of MOBA and all these things. So it works out all the time. Um, but we're like, how are you guys about to take over the world? That's what I want to know. I, I love that you uh, cheated up because we are. <laughs> um, are yeah, and so, <laughs> and, and so really there's two aspects of Greenwood Action in this in, in ways that you can interact and, and what I, we talked a little bit about earlier, community as a service. So as a single person, I can tap into uh, Greenwood X and I can find other people to talk to, whether they be professionals or whether they be students. Um, and so that's a big thing as I'm looking to help the next generation really and level the playing field with them and for them, I'm also able to level the playing field for myself. Um, and advocate for myself in different spaces and areas and just trying to just gain that wealth of knowledge without um, <laughs> the hoopla of, of networking and, and, and how stressful that can be and how long of the process that can be. Um, and, but on top of that, as I'm, as I'm building out my network uh, with these different people, we have also opened up an opportunity to really just to build out communities because it's not just one person alone and that's the reason why uh, we're trying to connect these people. It's not one person alone that's going to get the job done, and we see that uh, day in and day out. Um, but it's now that I have these communities, whether they're ERGs, whether they're nonprofit orgs, um, like, like Winning Edge, how do I keep my community yeah. that I have? How do I keep them connected? Because COVID has shown us it's, it's difficult. Every, if everyone's scattered, they're like, what, what platform should I use? And it's like, hey, we have an opportunity at this moment in time to empower these different networks that are already existing. And so definitely be on the lookout for Winning Edge. They're going to be powered by Greenwood Edge and you'll be able to sign up starting today uh, to tap into this network of sports and, and business professionals. I signed so, up while you were talking. It was really easy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only take two minutes, exactly. love. <laughs> it was really easy. We were moving the complexities of diversity, equity, and inclusion. So. <laughs> um, um thank you ladies